Hey guys, I'm LB, and uh, after last episode, I stopped playing because this was seriously frustrating me. I, I could not figure out what to do. And uh, I've been messing with it for a while now, and I think maybe this can get me somewhere? Like, the thing that really annoys me about this puzzle is that the blocks can, like, rotate and not be perfectly straight. And it just... I don't like how that works that way. That makes it a lot harder for me to, to deal with and comprehend what's going on in the puzzle, really. Like, if the blocks couldn't rotate, that would make things a lot easier for me to understand, but the fact that they can rotate and go off in weird directions that you don't want them to, that just really annoys me. But I think, because they, they move at different speeds, right? I think what we can do is move them this way, and then I'll get the, the smaller ones lined up here and the big ones lined up here, and then we can just move in this direction, and that should, theoretically, line them up. And if not this, then I have no idea what to do. So let's, uh, let's back up so that we can see what's going on here. And people have told me this is a short game, and I looked at the achievements, and sure enough, I am very close to having full game completion. Oh, that's not good. That is not good at all. That's not good! Danger, Will Robinson. Mmm. This is gonna be tight. Ah, it's not close enough. Hmm... Maybe I can still save this. Also, I got an achievement for, uh... Like, a thousand block manipulations when I was doing this, so... Yeah, there's that. But a lot of the achievements look like they're just absolutely insane things. Like, one of them is that you have to play the game a hundred times, and I'm not gonna do that. I almost hit that button. I don't want to hit that button. I want to... I want to do... Th well... Issues that this guy is not really lined up the way I want him to be. Does it look like they're still moving a little bit? Or is that just my imagination? Come on, little dude! That's so close! Oh my gosh, please! I can't do it fast enough. Oh my goodness! This little guy right here! He's the bane of my existence. Like, this is- this is it. This is the solution, and it didn't work because of the stupid physics. <sighs> well, let's try this again. So, let's see... There we go. Let's try this again. Oh, and it's doing weird stuff again. Whatever. Oh, and I got that wrong. Whatever. Come on. Even out. Balance yourselves, please. Okay, let's hope this works properly this time. Let me- let me do this for a split second. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking with that. Let me- let me undo what I just did, because... 
That is not gonna help at all. Alright, let's try this again. So, pull these guys in this direction, right? We do this. Okay, well, not that much. And then, we, we pull them in this direction-ish. Then... pull them back. But these little guys are still too separated. Why are these little guys still too separated? You know what? I just realized I can do this. And that'll work. Yes! Oh my gosh! That took entirely too long. I could have done that before, but I just didn't realize it at the time. I'm not really good at... Tough going. See, I saw that achievement! In a Steam Overlay, it says so close, and uh... I was wondering why it said so close, but apparently this is the toughest puzzle in the game, and I agree. This was... not mentally challenging, just incredibly annoying, tedious, and difficult because of the physics. Like, if the physics hadn't been the way they were, this puzzle would have been much easier, I believe. Alright, let's get out of here. I don't ever want to have to do that puzzle again. going on here? Well, that's very bright. Oh, there's a little orb inside of it. What are those orbs? Color orbs. Oh man, something's happening to our arms here. Alright, that was an interesting cutscene. You heard it in her voice, didn't you? Her lies catching in her throat. Do you really believe that the fate of the planet depends on you solving puzzles in a box? They lie to give you just enough hope to keep you where they want you, alone in the dark. Just you and the voices in your head. Hello? Who is this? Who are you and how are you on this frequency? Sir, this is a private government channel. I don't know how you're broadcasting out here, but what you're doing is illegal. What is your name? You people scrubbed my name out of my head! All I am is a number you gave me. 919. And you can pretend all you want, but now he knows the truth. No faith, just facts! Hello? Hello? Listen to me. I have no idea who that person is. Whatever he's been saying to you, you need to ignore it. If he contacts you again, just blank it out. I'll contact Mission Control and find out what the hell is going on. I'm orbiting out of range, but remember, your mission is everything. The entire world is depending on you. So we've got actual conflict between the characters. So either they're both in our heads, or they're both real, because previously we could have thought that one or the other was in our heads. Probably the, the doubt guy. But now that they've actually interacted with each other, Either we're going crazy, or that actually happened. And people have confirmed that the dialogue is only in the Director's Cut Edition, and that it wasn't in the original. So these little areas between puzzles, I guess, were just... Uh, devoid of anything, which is what I remember. Wow, this is a really long ride. Once again, padding for the dialogue because I spent too long exploring. Oh, now we're going diagonally. Interesting. Let's 
What's over here? More area that we can't go to. Achievement unlocked, Sector 6 completed, and... Black screen? Oh. What an odd place to have a loading screen. That was... I thought the game had crashed. Phew. Alright, so... What do these guys do? Interesting. So I can imbue... ...properties of these things. Huh. So I probably want... Oh, can I not take it back now? What happens if I try to override it? Okay, it does put it back. There we go. Whoa. I could see through that door for a second. At least I thought I could. Or not? I thought I saw... I don't know what I saw. I don't even know if it's captured on the recording. Maybe I am going insane. Look at that. There's stuff up there. Alright. Well... Wait, hang on. Where actually do we want to even... do this? Oh, right there. Okay. Uh... I want actually this guy then. There we go. So we get to choose the color, but not the position or anything like that. Ooh! I love stuff that looks like this. I really love it when games, you know, have this weird geometry like this. Like, even in real life, it looks really cool. Of course, this one isn't actually changing gravity. That would be the coolest thing to complete the illusion, but... It still looks awesome. Okay, so this is where... A ball comes from. And we'll want to color everything. But... So we have three spots, and we have to choose... the colors... ourselves. Interesting. What happens if we use all three colors, and then we... we find out that they're the wrong combination, and we need to change them? Okay, well, I think this has to be blue, right? And we can just do bluish. Oh, I clicked on that one, but it still did it there. Interesting. Yeah, because that's the only way to get over this gap, really. Unless we do really good timing with a yellow or something. Or a red. But no, it had to be a yellow. Um. Then we can do. I think we'll want red here, and yellow here. To act as a wall, really. Yep, that seems to have done it. Yep, that's correct. Awesome. Alright, onward we go. More- more story dialogue? Ooh, this is cool. Alright. Okay, now we can do pink. Interesting. So pink is the rotating thing, right? I guess it does occupy three spaces just like yellow. I didn't consider that. Okay, so first of all, why can't we just use blue? Because it doesn't get us high enough. And K. Alright then, let's put pink here. Rotate. And then we'll just put. I don't know, I guess yellow? And then we'll put blue here. Come on. 
Ta-da! We did it. So I didn't even need bread at all. Ooh, look at this. I love these little... simple little things that you can do to make things look interesting. The, the, ga the visuals in this game are definitely very good, but so far I've not been satisfied with the puzzles. I'll talk about that later. But let's just get on with this one. Okay, we've got a m another multi-layer ball puzzle again. So... Looks like we'll want to rotate first of all. Got it in position. Now we just need yellow. Could have also used blue, maybe, but yellow works better, in my opinion. How are we going to get it up there, I wonder? does that reach again? Oh, okay, so I see what we can do. rolling towards the center here. Stop- stop moving. Is it just gonna roll into position, or what? Okay, well I somehow have managed to stop it rolling. Even though, it should totally roll off the edge now, but whatever. That's a bug, so, uh, when you change it from blue, it retracts the blue, and then because the blue is retracted, it launches the object before changing into the other thing. That's interesting. So our goal is to get it in there, right? Couldn't we just... can we just do this? Yeah! <laughs> I think that was supposed to be much harder, but because of the stupid physics, the puzzle became really easy. That's the problem with physics in puzzle games, is that when you try to use physics in your puzzle game, it just ends up making the design of the game a lot harder, and it also generally makes the player experience very frustrating. Like, this game, you can tell they put a lot of effort into trying to make the physics, you know, behave, and use it in puzzles properly, but it just- it's just a really hard thing to pull off properly. So for this one, we want it to go into there. puts the red in the center.
Will this work? I wonder. Aw, oh, come on, that was so close, and you know it. Alright, let's put this guy up here. Oh, I can recall these! Okay, I didn't know that. So if I just right-click where it used to be, it puts it back. Good to know, good to know. Okay, well first of all, let's, let's try and get the ball back into position, right? There we go. No need to overcomplicate that. Achievement unlocked the ball. Okay. Fingers crossed you're hearing this. The man on your radio? This 919 person? Mission control say that seven years ago, they had a space shuttle malfunction and fall out of orbit. The shuttle's name was 919. They lost contact. It drifted out into deep space, and everyone assumed the astronaut on board was dead. It's possible that his suit kept him alive. There's a photosynthetic layer, just like yours, that converts light into proteins and oxygen. But they didn't think it could last that long. The astronaut's name was Jonathan Burns. And if he is Jonathan Burns, He's been alone in the dark for a very, very long time. He'll be confused. He may not know where he is or who he is. Here we go. I'm orbiting out of range. I'm warning you. Deep space and isolation destroy the mind. Don't listen to that voice. Very convincing. So the elevator area sealed up. Where do we actually want to go, though? Uh... How do I get out of this little area, first of all? I think that's the most important question. Mm-hmm. How do I get out of here? Am I just... Trapped in this little hole? <laughs> what do I do? By the way, these- these look really cool, the little particle effect animations are really cool looking. No really, how do I get out of this hole? Is this something I can do? Give me that please. Nope, apparently not. So I can't- I can't just jump out. This is too high for me to jump. Am I missing something obvious? I, f I feel like I'm really missing something obvious here. I don't understand what it is. That rotates this way, that rotates this... horizontally, that rotates horizontally. Nothing... nothing here would be of any use to me. I don't see how any of these other colors are gonna help. Wait a sec. Green? Oh, that gets me a cube? Okay, well that- that changes things a lot. If I recall this, does the cube go away? Yes, okay. I didn't realize that that gave me a cube. So... what would be the best way... How I actually get that cube down here, though? I mean, I guess I can put it there, right? Would it- would it just... fall off the slope? Hey, look at that! Physics for the win, for once! 
Alright, so now, we can actually jump out. There we go. That's what I'm missing. So now... Oh, I didn't even see that there. That- that's important to know. Oh, that rotates both. Eh, hmm. Oh my gosh, I can't- It doesn't want me to stand on this part here, because it's like, two different slopes or whatever. Because it's pushing me against the wall, I guess? I don't know. So, where will this send me? There... Could I catch myself? Okay, I can't land on that, apparently. Nope, nope, I can't land on it. Unless... This is crazy, but it might just work. Oh goodness, that- that might work. Uh, let's try this again, but we'll do it this way. Oh, that- that didn't even launch me! Come on, game! Give me a break! And I can't aim that fast. Looks like I need to do it while I'm already in the air. Oh, goodness. No, I'm back down. I fell back down again. Game, don't do this to me. All right, Move this over here. Turn that into a cube, and let me jump out, please. Ah, not high enough. So I gotta rotate this again. Oh, I didn't actually pick it up. Do it from the high one. Now I can jump out. Let's... let's try this once more. I can't think of any other way to do this. Oh my goodness. What am I standing on? Go! Launch me! And... Am I not even able to do that while I'm in the air? Let's try. Yeah, it removes my crosshair when I'm in the air, so I literally cannot... Look, watch my crosshair- well, it's not a crosshair, it's a circle in the center of the screen. Watch the circle in the center of the screen. It's gone. I cannot do anything while I'm being launched. Today I learned! Hmm... Oh, 
Uh... Come on, what? Wait, what? How... Was I... How was I climbing for a second there? What the? Okay, not sure entirely how that works. Oh, that's too far. And I can't rotate this now because why? Oh, because this is in the way? Really? Yeah, because it was in the way. Okay, what about from this side? This might work. Nope. I don't know. I think we're gonna have to figure this one out in the next episode, so as always... Thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!